Hello friends, welcome to Insights I Can Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Joshi Mutt. You might have heard about the Joshi Mutt, which is present in the Uttarakhand and it was very popular for the land subsidence. So we will discuss about further details regarding the land subsidence and eight premier institutions, eight premier institutions, they given reports on the orders of the High Court. These reports being open for the public. So we'll discuss all those details. First, let us try to link this particular topic with the syllabus, syllabus mapping. This particular topic is related, related to general studies paper one, that is geography of the world. Here, important geophysical phenomena and GS paper three, disaster management. This is about the syllabus mapping. Now, let's see the video components of this topic. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about why this particular thing is in news. That is Joshimath land subsidence. You know this land subsidence was happened because of this land shrinking and so many cracks developed in the areas of Joshimath. It was a few months back it was happened. On this particular incident, around eight premier institutions did done research and those reports were not yet to be, you know, like placed before the public. So obviously public interest litigation filed before the High Court and High Court ordered that these premier institutions report should be made available to the public. Based on the orders of the High Court, now those reports were made public. Now we are going to see what those reports consist of. Then where is Joshimath located? What is this land subsidence? What are the different types of land subsidence? What is the land slide? Why the Joshimath is sinking? What are the different institutions, those eight premier institutions? What are their takeaway points, suggestions given by the these institutions to the state government as well as the union government and so far what are the steps taken by the government. So these are the learning objectives in this particular video. Now obviously first we will go across some of the important rivers because these rivers names very frequently we will get in this particular topic. So here this is river Alakananda and river Mandakini. River, river Bhagirathi and River Yamunotri. So these are main rivers. River Alakananda, it joined with Vishnu Prayag. This, you know, like at, at Vishnu Prayag, it is joined by Daliganga. And at Nanda Prayag, this Alakananda joined by Nandakini. And at Karna Prayag, it is joined by Pindar Ganga. And at Rudra Prayag, it is joined by Mandakini. And at Dev Prayag, it is joined by Bhagirathi. These are some of the very frequent names of the rivers we will get in this particular video. So these are the respective rivers and their tributaries. Now let's see Joshi Mutt. So different studies, they clearly showing that, they are clearly showing the reasons for the land subsidence in Joshi Math. How many institutions involved here? Eight premier institutions involved here. You know students, this is a disaster related thing and tell me, Disaster management comes under which ministry? Disaster management comes under which ministry? Disaster management. And one more question to you. Who, who acts as a president of National Disaster Management Authority? Who acts as chairman? So then, so some public interest litigation they made in the Uttarakhand High Court. And now Uttarakhand High Court ordered that these reports must be made available to the public. Because public should get to know because th then only the public will get the confidence whether to, whether to stay in that particular area or not. As well as public will take precautionary measures or also their lifestyle also will be changed so that these incidents can be reduced. Joshi much present in Uttarakhand uh, region. Then it is present in the Garhal Himalayas in Chamoli district of Uttarakhand. It is surrounded on the east and west by Karmanasa and Dakhnara streams. On the north and south, it is surrounded by Dauri Ganga and Alakananda rivers. And this is the base camp for so many people who are visiting to the areas of Badrinath, Auli, Valley of Flowers and Shemakund Sahib. It is strategically important because here our Indian army, they are having their cantonment base also. So strategically, it is very important for our mountain base. Okay. Next, this town, this town present in the seismic zone 5, which is, you know, like this area is gone through, go through by these streams of Vishnu Prayag, which is a confluence of Dauli Ganga and Alakananda. So it is present, it is located 
in the high risk seismic zone 5 okay these are the seismic zones identified by both central as well as the state disaster management authorities and it is home to one of the four mathas which are established by adi shankara so tell me students what kind of philosophy is proposed by adi shankara whether it is the dvaita or advaita give your answer adi shankara proposed four mathas in the following areas sringeri karnataka dwaraka gujarat puri odisha and joshi math that is what we are discussing now so it is there this mat is there and because of this mat is present here in this region it is spiritually very important because of this the tourists are increasing and to accommodate those tourists they are building lot of hotels accommodation houses are there um, building because of that the drainage water seeping through drainage water coming out of these construction areas it is seeping through the ground and it is causing to the land okay so land subsidence that is also one of the reason so here you can see the subsidence land subsidence can be broadly categorized into two ways it may be due to the natural reasons or it may be due to the man-made artificial ones if it is an artificial one for example when you extract the resources like uh, water oil gas when you extract that the below soil will become weak and land will shrink that is known as a land subsidence it may be due to the high weight of the buildings also you know for example you might have seen in your urban areas when a particular building is constructing more than the permitted floors then the building will be overloaded and the land the underground will shrink that is also one of the reason for the land subsidence and it may be due to the you know like land sliding also especially when a particular area is present near the tectonic plates plate slipping when the plate slipping at the time also land subsidence will happen and melting of the ice sheets below the ground if any glaciers are there if they are melting that also resulted to the land subsidence these are some of the reasons as an aspirant you must know land subsidence is mainly due to two reasons artificial reason natural reasons now let's find out some of the artificial and natural you know in this in this particular ppt slide you will see that it's one of the largest land subsidence it was occurred in iran iran it was occurred in iran due to the over exploitation of the water in the neighborhood areas land subsidence it can be gradual or it can be you know like uh, acute that means immediately or sudden shrinking of man-made removal of water oil natural gas or mineral exploitation or natural one like earthquake soil compactation glacial melting sinkhole formation like this these are the natural events which are leading to the land subsidence when land subsidence is happening even the land slide also it results okay because if a particular town is present on a very slopey area the town will be affected due to the land slide also because when land slide occurs obviously the ground below that town okay that also slides away so the entire town will move moved away by this water and everything so land slide is also one of the reasons for the you know like land subsidence in this joshi mat why is this joshi mat is thinking it may be due to all these reasons first one is it is located on the site of ancient landslides as because it is present in the landslide location whenever this landslide experience this town also will you know like experience that land subsidence landslide is nothing but movement of land or gravel or rocky particle across the slope of the mountain that is known as landslide okay next geography of the town this zone is uh, town is present near the seismic zone because of that only that also it is one of the results and it causing the land subsidence extreme weather events it may be due to the you know like uh, cloud burst or flash floods due to that also this land subsidence is happening it, it may be due to geology that means the rock structure the soil structure when the particular uh, town soil is composed of very fragile rock material obviously it has high vulnerable towards the land subsidence and plan development that means the concrete structure if they are not up to the standards of the building standards proposed by government of india then also it will happens unsustainable tourism hydroelectric project because when you are building a hydroelectric project obviously it is leading to lot of pressure on that area local area it may cause the land subsidence impact of the earlier disasters because the earlier earthquakes 
still they may release some kind of seismic energy over the period of time that may cause land subsidence and finally the climate change over the period of time this may be due to the you know like it may cause change in the river uh, small riverets riverlets or uh, small uh, branches of the river due to this change in flow also this land may get weak these are some of the reasons like i said earlier the this present on the ancient land slide according to which com which commission this information was given by mishra commission 1976 geography of the town this town consists of the gneissic rocks these are highly weathered rocks loose soil this is due to the geography of the town and you know like river branch and this you know like streams of river they are also getting changed due to the extreme weather events especially floods happened in this region in 2013 as well as the 2021 you know that in 2013 floods of uh, pilgrims who went to the chardam they were affected heavily geology this uh, this look town is present in zone 5 of the seismic activity according to the uttarakhand state disaster management authority unplanned developments new construction deforestation rapid urbanization unsustainable tourism because of these pilgrimage sites so many people are coming and spiritual tourism is increasing and obviously that resulted to construction of more hotels residences and the drainage water it that water is seeping through the ground and is making the ground more vulnerable for the land subsidence hydraulic hydroelectric project such as 520 megawatts tapovan vishnu ghat vishnu ghat hydroelectric plants on the dhauli ganga river because of this hydroelectric projects also the ground becoming so fragile and weak impact of earlier disaster like i said earlier 1999 chamoli earthquake still this earthquake is releasing the energy floods in the rishi ganga and dhauli ganga in 2021 climate change at high larger level like cloud burst flash floods and glacial outbursts all these are the reasons in the beginning of this video i told you high court order those eight institutions to to make their report public what are those eight institutions here these eight institutions are displayed okay now let's see what are the major findings of this study reasons for subsidence, subsidence like the previously whatever we discussed majority of them are you know like shown as the reasons by this committee first one is seismic activity construction of loopholes population pressure poor drainage system and according to the cbri standards building regulation of india regulation of regulations of india 99 percentage of these buildings are not according to the national building code of india 2016 that is also one of the reason now the rurke based nih they are saying that due to the various springs and drainage network underground become very fragile due to wadia institute of okay wadia institute of himalayan geology they are saying that earthquake is one of the main reason for the land subsidence at rurke it is saying that it is mainly due to the geography of the soil or the structure of the soil or composition of the soil these are some of the uh, observations by these reports issues linked to the reports the main issues is this area is seismic activity so obviously there are certain measures have to be taken by the government let's see what govern what measures so far government took and what are the ideal ones government has to take steps taken by the what are the steps can be done to save relocate the people to the safe place obviously this is the prevention of uh, death toll and drainage proper drainage planning complete shutdown of the developmental and hydroelectric activities and the replantation of the region because when you are replanting obviously these forests i mean these trees they bind the soil so the fragility of the soil will be less so the land holds in its place so uh, planting and the coordination effort required between the uh, governments and civil society organizations and uh, organizations such as border ro border roads organizations initiative whatever the initiative taken they stopped the ntpc hydroelectric project and uh, even they also constructed the prefabricated home so that whoever uh, lo lost homes due to this uh, land shrinking they were provided with the homes 
and micro seismic observation systems so that any changes in the any small changes in the seismic activity those can be observed those stations also been set up in the joshi match so the final conclusion like we said earlier this requires a coordinated effort between the government civil society organizations and organizations such as bro yesterday's video question with reference to five ice alliance consider the following statement the answer is it is an alliance comprising canada us uk australia and new zealand right its purpose is to conserve environment no this is purely intelligence so the second statement is wrong only a let's see today's question today's question is land states occurs because of what consider these four statements and pick the right one means describe the various causes and effects of the landslides mention the important components of the national landslide risk management strategy what are the important components very important in terms of your disaster management preparation now as we reach to the end of the video let's revise quickly in this particular video we discussed about joshi march land shrinking what are the reasons for that which premier institutions involved in this study and what high court ordered what are the findings of these institutions and what are the reasons for this land shrinking in general what are the initiative taken by the government so far so this is a detailed analysis regarding the joshi march land shrinking